and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, I'm sorry that this is coming out now. It is the NFL 100 promo, the thing that dropped as a surprise last night that no one was ready for. Now, I was out. I had plans last night because I had no idea that Madden would drop some of the greatest things I've ever dropped in Madden history at 9 p.m. at night. See, I was not ready for that. If I was ready for that, I would have came back home, but I had no idea. By the point, it was already too late. So I'm going to drop this video very, very early in the morning before Legends videos. Hopefully, you guys still show some support in this video and come out. And if you do, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Now, guys, this is a very unique promo. Before we get into this video, guys, be sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. You guys have been going crazy with the sub button lately. We're almost halfway to 13k, and you guys have been killing the like button. So if you're watching this video early in the morning, come show some support for the late upload, the early morning upload. I never really do these, so show some support. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for everything as of late. Thank you for all the support. Make sure to run that like button up and comment down below what you think of this promo. See, this is something they've never done, right? Like, for starters, they're not limited times. Which makes you wonder a lot about what Madden's doing because they've literally all year all they showed us is that every good car is gonna be LTD. I'm not complaining because I got one, but it was just weird and they dropped four of them at once. It was kind of weird, but if you guys know what I'm talking about, it's the best of NFL 100. It is this brand new promo that's gonna be spanning a few weeks. I believe it was six or or more so, however many. But maybe that's just a solo challenge sequence. But against all of that, pretty much there's an NFL Top 100 list where they rank like some of the best players each position that ever played the game. And for the out of the running backs, they picked these four right here. So these are the ones that we're getting. And they're going position by position. So it looks like every week, kind of like Mutt 10. It's gonna be very similar to Mutt 10 if you guys remember how that worked, where once a week we get the drops. And I don't know if we'll get four every time, but for the first drop, it appeared to have been four. So if that's the case, then maybe next week we get a lot. We'll get linebackers, four of them, defensive tackles, four of them, wide receivers, four of them. And that is the case, guys. I don't know what's gonna happen because the market's going to be very flooded. This flooded and destroyed the market flooded and absolutely destroyed the market right after the market was finally up again so it kind of confuses me about the trend we're going in and also their x factors automatically start so does that mean we're gonna have a, we're gonna have all these players with automatic x factors but against all that so let's go let's go show you the cards let's go over to the nfl top 100 i wonder i want to see if there's a set for them real quick before i go check this out there is nfl 100 all times okay so we got emmett smith jim brown barry sanders and eric dickerson now this is a little overwhelming list. I mean, not so much for me. For me, when I looked at this list, I knew M. Smith was out. That, that was one that I, I knew he wouldn't be good at the other three. Now, Jim Brown, Barry Sanders, and Eric Dixon, this was tough. Now, Barry Sanders is the OG on this channel. I don't know if you got how long he hasn't been here, but the first video on this channel was a Barry Sanders gameplay. That is our roots every year, Mad Night. Whenever there's a, whenever they drop the first Barry Sanders card, you can assure that it's going to be the most overpowered card in the game and you need it for at least that first month. So that is why I felt like I had, I have to go Barry Sanders and when comparing them, the only one similar to Barry Sanders was Eric Dickerson, but I was thinking about it. And obviously, I'll say all this in the stats, but let's, let's, go, let's go over to the auction block, show you guys their price and their stats, and the solos, actually, because you guys can actually get a free one by playing the solos, which, again, is a surprising a surprising take on Madden's part, which I was not expecting. Celebrate and honor some of the greatest players in 100 years of the NFL history with these special challenges highlighting their biggest moments. Complete all challenges over the six-week programs earn a Nat Centennial Fantasy Pack. So it's just like Mutt 10. Make sure you're playing them. Do not miss a week. I made a mistake the first time. I will be getting my free one this time. So I got to play these. You don't need any amount of stars. You just need to get the... What's that? Four stars to the NFL Halfback Fantasy Pack. I guess play that. I don't really know what you can get from that. Maybe you just get one of the low pieces, which you can still sell for like 30k. So I'd recommend you get that. Now remember, guys, this you have to play this. I believe it's by Monday morning. I don't have the exact date, so I'd recommend you just play it as soon as possible before it goes away. Because uh, just like the Mutt 10, I do not feel like getting screwed again. And it does look like this does not start in the first, at least so it's not full game. At least it appears not to be a full game. But I, th I think you do have to play all of them, so I guess it makes sense that they're not full games. Yeah, I believe you have to play all of them. So get those all done, guys. You don't want to miss out now. Let's go to the auction block to show you guys all their stats and compare them and see who's the better one of the four. Now, obviously, this is super hype. There's, I mean, it doesn't matter who's really better, right? Because they're going to be four Hall of Fame level running backs that everyone's going to want. Now, the market did get crashed quite significantly from this promo dropping. So letting you guys know, like, Michael Irvin and Nitro Lane are crazy cheap. I do regret the prices that people bought them for yesterday. Now, going over to NFL Top 100, it has its own category now. The cheapest one is Emmett Smith and then Jim Brown, surprisingly. 
So let's start with Emmitt Smith. So Emmitt Smith, 94 over halfback for the Dallas Cowboys. He's got 91 speed, 91 excel, 93 agility, 93 carrying, 72 catching, 90 elusiveness, 86 trucking, and 89 break tackle. Now the thing is, if you stacked up to my Saquon Barkley, which I already know, I already know the stack up. They have like the same speed. He has worse excel, same agility, same carrying, uh, similar catching. Similar elusiveness, similar trucking, and way better break tackle on Saquon. I really don't see a use for this card right here. And there's Jim Brown. Jim Brown's actually kind of a monster. I know that for a fact. He has 92 speed, 91 excel, 89 agility, 92 carrying, 76, uh, 67 catching, 84 elusiveness, 90 trucking, 93 break tackle. Now, Jim Brown, I don't know. I believe he can get armbar and evasive. I'm not entirely sure of the statistics on that, but I'm pretty sure he can. Let's see. Stiff arm's 92. Juke moves in 89. Powered up, this guy might be able to get some pretty special stuff. Now, my only build, my only issue with him is his speed and excel reminds me like Saquon Barkley again. Now, Eric Dickerson, he's probably the only one I'd have to compete with Barry. He's 93 speed, 92 excel, 92 agility, 93 carrying, 67 catching, 86 elusiveness, 91 truck, 91 break tackle. So he's gonna be able to do it all. I don't think he gets any of the power back abilities. So that was kind of the issue. See, if Eric Dickerson could have gotten like armbar or like bruiser and he could have gotten evasive, this would have probably been the best running back in the game. But he does not get the power ability, so he's kind of just like a worse Barry Sanders, in my opinion. Although some people might argue that he's better. I'm a, I'm a Barry fan. I mean, let's see what his underlying stats are if we go down. So, I mean, obviously they look great. Let's see what his juking and stiff arm is. His elusiveness, 86. Ball carry vision, 91. Stiff arm's 91. That's actually really high. Juke moves a 90. 87 spin move. And then if any underlying stats that we should be looking out for, it does not appear so. And 91 break tackle. So Eric Dixon's obviously up there, but now I'm gonna show you guys who I think is my is probably my favorite choice. That's Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders is known to be the glitchiest card in the history of Madden whenever he does get released. 93 speed, 95 excel, 95 agility. Guys, powered up and chemmed up, this guy is going to have. If you have like John Madden and everything on him, this guy could potentially get to like, let's just say powered up, powered up and chemmed up. He's gonna have like a 94 speed, like 97 excel. I think he has like 98 agility if it was on my team about 90 carrying on my team the break tackle is like a 94 95 and the elusiveness like a 94 this card's going to be absolutely insane and let's go check out the underlying stats obviously he has let's see 92 elusiveness obviously we said that 86 ball carry vision 81 stiff arm is decent 92 spin move 92 juke move let's see what his break tackle is and his break tackle is Actually, I think that's is that's either better or the same as Eric Dickerson. I don't know. I think that Barry Sanders might be the best one out of the bunch. I really don't think it's it's that close because Barry Sanders can potentially get up to like 98 with the right cams and John Madden. He can get up to like 99 Excel and like 96, 97 speed. That's glitchy. And see, I was comparing, right? So let's say you compare him to like a guy like Jim Brown. Jim Brown's obviously not as fast, but Jim Brown could probably get like maybe Bruiser and Evasive. So you're like, oh wow, I get the power back cams and I get the like the elusive cams. But I was thinking, right? The whole point of this game, the whole point of having a glitchy running back isn't is just to get around people and score. Barry Sanders is gonna feel so overwhelmingly fast that you don't even have to do all the power. Like the power stuff is used for running backs who aren't as fast and have to knock people off like Derrick Henry's of the world. Barry Sanders might not have to do that. And my favorite thing ever in Madden is when they release that card like Barry Sanders that Literally, it's like you're playing with an old school Pac-Man joystick and you're just like running around the field like 05 Vic. And I feel like Barry Sanders always introduces that to the game every time he is released in Madden. And I'm super hyped. And guys, like I said, Barry Sanders is kind of like an icon on this channel. He's my day one gameplay, my like day three gameplay. And hopefully I'm gonna get a gameplay for you guys today with Barry Sanders, fully powered up and chemmed up. As you guys see, I did buy quite a few things. If you guys look at my coin count, so you can expect that I have bought quite a few things last night. I did have like 2.4 million coins. So I'm going to do a very good gameplay for you guys today, hopefully. And I'm going to do probably a lineup update because I did get some insane stuff. Now, this being week one is just these four. Obviously you can pick a free one, guys. I will be ranking the best free one to choose more than likely when the time comes but for the time being just to give you guys a quick heads up i'd probably go emmett smith at number four jim brown at number three eric dickerson at number two and barry sanders at number one i think that's just i think that's a fair comparison and also real quick information that their x factors do start with the game like when the game starts their x factors automatically starts but you have to take as you see in the corner they have the x factor thing written there i believe you have to choose the x factor that they that they have which is their it's called their nfl 100 x factor and it's like an x factor that automatically starts like when you start the game their x factor is active so for barry sanders it's first one free for 
Eric Dickerson, it is Freight Train. For Jim Brown, it is Wrecking Ball. And for Emmett Smith, it is also, I don't know what Emmett Smith says. That one doesn't ring a bell. But point being is that if you, that the one thing that sucks about Barry is that I think he gets first one free, which I guess isn't horrible, but I feel like with the base and stuff, I don't really want first ones free. I'd rather have had like a power backhand like Freight Train, but it's more than okay. The speed with, the, with first one free automatically active. He's gonna get glitchy. Hopefully this gameplay goes crazy when I start doing this with him. I have not got to play with him yet. So I do have him, but I've not got to play with him. So hopefully I can show you guys everything. Let me show you guys the stats powered up real quick since you guys probably want to see that. He has 94 speed, 96 excel, 96 agility, 87 carry, 71 catching, 93 looseness, 70 trucking, 93 break tackle. And again, with all the team cams and everything applied, he's going to be absolutely crazy. Now, let me go show you on the team real quick. His stats, so I figured you guys want, I know you guys always say, can you show me the stats on the team? You guys want to see everything. So let me show you guys what he looks like on my team specifically. So on the team, he has 94 speed, 98 acceleration, 97 agility, 90 carrying, 72 catching, 95 elusiveness, 70 trucking, 94 break tackle. Absolutely blows away Saquon Barkley. And practically everything besides carrying by three blows him away. It's going to be insane using him. My only fear is that everyone else also has him and I'm going to get royally screwed in multiple ways by this Barry Sanders and other running backs today. The stretch game is going to be unreal today. Hopefully, we could do our best to stop it. I now have three above 90 running backs like Mark Sound, but I'm probably going to hold on to them. I don't really feel the need to change them. But that is about it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notify bell, boys. Come join the family. Sorry for the really early morning upload and the late upload at that. Hopefully, you guys still should come out show some support for this video. I greatly appreciate that. Everyone watching, drop a like. Run the like button up. You guys go crazy with the like button lately, so... Let's see how many likes we can get on this early morning upload. Make sure to comment down below what you think of these new running backs and what you think of this program in general. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.